Hey there. For today's show, we're going to take you across all the way to the state of Illinois. And the guest with me today chat chatting is Nihal Shah, a junior at University of Illinois Urbana Champaign. Hey Nihal, Hi. welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And the first thing is this super reputed computer science program that you do at UIUC. Yeah. So, would you like to tell us a bit about? It? So, UIUC is one of the top five programs. Uh, it's been in and around the top five for a couple of years now, and you know we have some great professors. If, if you guys have heard of the Oculus Rift, mm -hmm. the new the new VR device, right? So, the lead researcher for that is from our university oh, wow. and he's teaching a class in that. A couple of people from Apple, oh, okay. the very low level software that's written is written at UIUC. Oh, okay. So yeah, so we have some pretty cool stuff going on and the CS program is really, really rigorous and really hard to get into. <laughs> you know, it's a lot of hard work but it, it's a lot of fun to work hard. Yeah. Is it hard to survive the program as well? Yes, it is. Uh, you know, you'll be surprised. We have about only a 50% graduation rate Whoa. in engineering itself. Wow. How is the course structure, the program, the classes? So the CS curriculum, uh, you know, broadly we have a couple of mandatory classes right. and those classes usually tend to be larger from 400 to 600 sometimes. In a class? In a class, yeah. Right. But we have huge auditoriums right. and sometimes people get worried about, you know, if you have 400, 600 students, you don't get the one-to-one -one attention, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, to be honest with you, I don't think it makes that much of a difference okay. because okay. the way our classes are structured is that we might have two or three professors teaching the same class okay. and then we have about 30 TAs. Oh. And more often than not, right, even if you have a smaller class, the professors are so engrossed in the research, you ultimately do end up going only to the TAs oh, okay. and they know their stuff very well, that's why they're TAs. Right. And then as you go progress along, right now I'm a junior, so I can take you know a lot of specialized classes that have about 40, 50 students okay. and that gets a lot more intimate and you know that the person sitting next to you is as passionate about this yeah. project as you, as you are. The ideas are flowing in the class right. and at that level really nobody cares about marks, right? We have oh. a professor who tells us, get as many cheat sheets as you want, it's not going to help you because this, this course is only about your concepts and many of the courses have machine projects, we call them MPs. You learn a concept in a week, the very next week you have an assignment, a programming assignment. You basically figure out what the concept was. Yeah, get and hands on. Exactly. And they give you a you know, abstract problem. Sure. So it could be a problem about plants for all you know. Oh, okay. And you have to apply that oh, concept. Yeah, yeah. And okay. so that sort of you know makes you understand how the industry actually works. Yeah. That's what's actually stood out for me personally. So there's a thing about programming. Programming is 90% making mistakes and only 10% getting it right. Learning from them. Yes. Yeah. So I think that's one of very beautiful concept that we employ at UIUC. Super. And are these projects sometimes team projects? Yeah. Yeah. So some couple of them are individual projects, but most of them are usually teams of two or three, and they really, you know, yeah. they want you to collaborate with people to bounce off ideas of each other. about some of the activities that you engage in outside the classroom? Uh, we have uh, something called the ACM which is the Association for Computing Machinery. Okay. This is basically a student group and we have SIGs, what we call so specialized interest groups. All right. So within computer science you have mobile applications, you have you know backend development. So we have about 15 of such interest groups. Wow. Other groups are more learning focused. So if you want to say learn more about data security, right? So there's a special group that would just teach you about the concepts and about the industry. Yeah. So that's something that I really engage in. Um, apart from that, we have a yearly hackathon called Hack Illinois. Yeah. I'm really you know, inspired by the way we actually manage it. Organize it. Yeah, the organization is yeah, yeah, yeah. unbelievable. It's been a learning experience for me sure. to look at my seniors and the way they're handling things, reaching out to sponsors or making sure your tech is in place, the networks and things like that. And on the non-academic side, I think I'm very much involved in sports. Wow. Uh, being a state school, we have very good infrastructure, yeah. so it's mind-blowing how big it is. You get overwhelmed the first time you go and you see the number of people working out at the same time or swimming at the same time. We have an Olympic-sized pool, um, we have a couple of baseball fields, football fields, soccer fields. I'm a huge fan of soccer, <laughs> so I play a lot of uh, intramural soccer out there. Especially since Illinois got a state card recently, I mean, you think that UIC would be affected, 
but it turns out that UIC uh, will not get affected by anything, any state budget cut, nothing of, what, of that sort. So you did this entire semester out at Hong Kong. Yeah. So as a study abroad program, would you want to talk about that? Yeah, so I studied abroad at the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. Okay. So it's one of the leading institutions in Asia. Uh, Hong Kong is a mind-blowing city. Really? It, I am almost ashamed to say this, but I like it even more than Bombay, <laughs> and I love Bombay. Anybody who is considering doing a study abroad should definitely consider Hong Kong. Okay. Um, it's a very vibrant city. Um, and the campus, so HKUSC, is, it's located right at the shore. The so, you know, I open my window every day and I have the Indian Ocean right in front of me, or whatever ocean there is. <laughs> Pacific, I think. And, you know, so I, like I said, I'm a huge soccer fan, so I would play soccer there almost every day. And the, up, the way our pitch was located, it was right next to the water. So it was the most blissful experience ever. As far as the university goes, it's very different from UIUC. The UIUC is a you know, state school, we have corn fields, a lot of fields. So we have about 50,000 students in one campus. You come to Hong Kong, you have about 10, maybe if you're lucky. So, you know, it's a different dynamic there, but it's very nice. It's good to get away from yeah, something that you're used yeah. to for so long and kind of puts you out there in an uncomfortable yeah. situation. So you get, you learn to be comfortable with yourself, with unfamiliar surroundings. I think that was my biggest take from HKUST, apart from the academics. So people would assume that Asian, being Asian, you know, it's yeah, tough and yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's completely false. Oh, okay. Completely false. And I'm not saying this because I'm a UIC guy, right? Okay. I had two friends coming from HKUSC to UIC, okay. and they said the same thing that oh. UIC is a lot tougher. And the sole reason for that is because the way our courses are structured, right? right? right. In Hong Kong, what you had was, uh, you know, study for so much, you have one midterm, one final, right. and maybe a couple of assignments. Right. But in UIC, you have weekly assignments, weekly, yeah, yeah. and so they like keep you at it, yeah. right? And because of that, I actually got to explore Hong Kong a lot more. So I went hiking and canoeing and things like that. And Hong Kong is, you know, abound with natural beauty. So it has about a thousand buildings on the skyline. And right behind that, it has natural beauty. So this is your junior year. You've got exactly one more year to go. What yeah. are you thinking about doing going forward? The way I look at it, I have two options right now. Uh, so I have an internship at Facebook this summer. Wow. Um, hopefully, if I do well enough, I'll get a return offer from them. Yeah. Fingers crossed. But you know, if that doesn't work out, I have other companies to look at. Um, so that's one option. Uh, the second option is. I'm thinking of combining my BS and Masters as well. Okay. So UIC has this specialized program where you can get your Masters and Bachelors in 5 years instead of 4 plus 2. That's amazing. Yeah, it's actually it works out very well for you. And since I'm a UIC student, it's not that hard for me to get in. Yeah. If you're coming from outside, it, it's really hard. It's super hard. Yeah. yeah. And even within the Masters program, we have two variations. So we have Masters of Science and then Masters of Computer Science. Oh. The only difference between the two of them is that Masters of Science makes you have to do research with a professor and Masters of Computer Science is no research. Uh, so you can take courses and just enjoy taking what you want. Yeah. The good thing about Masters of Science though is that uh, they provide you a huge stipend. Oh, yeah. So it's yeah. effectively you yeah. know, very less as, uh, in terms of tuition, whereas yeah. CS does not have that in CS. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you know, I'm kind of confused between yeah. the two things, but right now my heart says that I want to go and work at Facebook. Oh, okay. So let's see how things turn out. Right? I'm sure it'll work out. <laughs> For a high school senior looking to do a CS program at UIUC, what advice would you want to give them? Well, first things first, UIC is very competitive. So, you know, almost everybody says you might be number one in your school, but if you go to a college, you know you're not number one. That is very much true at UIUC. The other thing, I think, is just to be open-minded. One of my friends, you know, he's a genius, like literally a genius in computer science, but he does horribly oh, in exams. Okay. He doesn't care about yeah. it because he knows his stuff. and so those are the kind of people you'll actually meet and you have to embrace that culture. Apart from that, you have 40,000 students on campus. Yeah. You're not going to see that many people in, you know, in any school in India. So you have a lot of Indians. I made, well, it's not a mistake, but I kind of gravitated towards the Indian group. I made right. very good friends with them right. and that kind of helped me to transition you know, sure. emotionally. Because sure. they understand you. But I would advise them to actually go out and make non-Indian friends. Right. Um, that really, you know, opens your horizons and more than anything else, it actually makes sure that you get comfortable with US. Weather in UIUC is horrible towards the end. Okay. So, you know, as soon as you come in, you have about two months. 
be outside all the time. Don't even come into your room ever. Okay, so just, as you get in, go out, go out, do all the activities. Just go out because yeah. what happens is towards the end of October, November, right? It gets cold. You can't do anything. We have this beautiful thing called the quad. So it's like it's super huge, just grass and trees. I I go out there and study a lot. It just gives you a different dynamic, right? You have many people on the quad at the same time. Like about you know fifteen hundred to. Anywhere between fifteen hundred ten thousand students at the same time, oh, okay. and they're playing. They're doing different things. Some people are studying, sunbathing, playing around. It's just very nice to see that. And don't stress about studies. So just enjoy is what I would say to them. So some students live and eat on campus. Some students move out and cook for themselves. So how does it work with with you? Every freshman has to stay in an on-campus dorm. So you don't have a choice. You have to spend at least one year. Unfortunately, <laughs> at UIC we basically have one dorm called ISR. So that's the Illinois Street Residence Housing, and that's very close to the Engineering Quad. So if you go to ISR, 90% of the students they are going to be engineers, future engineers, right? And then we have something called the Eichenberry Commons. Okay. And that's where all the partying and all of that happens. Oh, so okay. it's a different environment in both the places. Okay. And both of them have their own charm. I was in ISR the first uh, the first year. A lot of Indians, a lot of Asians. The engineering quad has more Asians. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Asian and Indians. A lot of them. We are bound. It's a stereotype, but you know it's true. So the ISR one of the better ones because we have our own ACs and heaters, whereas the other guys don't have heaters, so they don't have fans and things like that. Oh, okay. So you know you have to look and take all of that into consideration and figure out what you want. So as far as the food is concerned, every dorm has its own kitchen. As long as you're part of a dorm, you can eat food anywhere you want. Okay. Uh, but you know we have a lot of variety on campus. I'll give them that. Uh, unfortunately, I'm vegetarian, so. It's not the best. Okay. I've, you know, I've personally had a lot of trouble, you know, eating food. So most times I would either eat salad, a sandwich, or cereal. But you know, if you're non-vegetarian, you should be fine. Uh, we have certain days of the week we have only vegetarian food, which is a boon for us. Yeah, yeah. And then we have late night food. So you know, the, the way it works in America is that you have dinner from five to seven, which is right. not what we do here. Yeah. Uh, so you know, to accommodate that, they have late night from eight to twelve. Um, ISR has something called Chomp, so it's basically a small cafe sort of area. And so they make burgers for you, give you coffee all the way up to 12 o'clock. Oh. They have packaged food, drinks, and things like that. If you go a little bit off campus, uh, you have very all restaurants. You have Chipotle, you have Einstein Brothers Bagels, things like that. So you have and all cuisines are represented. You have Indian food. You have I think about three restaurants on campus that are Indian. You know, if you eat on campus and off campus, I think anybody should be fine. Right. After that, people usually move out of dorms. That's what I did. So I'm staying in an apartment. Right. That's. Slightly off campus, but the thing is that URUC as a whole is a such a huge campus. Right, right. So it's not like you know it takes me forever to go. I can walk to any of my classes within 10 minutes. Oh, okay. So it's really you know affordable and it's really convenient for me to stay in in an apartment. So I'm sharing it with four people. Yeah, and I cook food. That's something you need to learn. Ask your mothers or your fathers if they cook. Yeah, or uh, YouTube. Or YouTube. <laughs> oh, that's what I do actually. You know, I YouTube a lot. So that's fun. <laughs> Describe your school in one word for us. It's a work hard, play hard school. That's four words. <laughs> work dash hard, dash play dash hard. So we are number one party school, right? Yeah. We have people who party all night, and then next day if they have an exam, they're going to go and get a hundred, and that's just the way it works. We have a lot of brilliant students, but they know how to enjoy life. Just. Even if you don't want to work hard, right? They make you work yeah. hard. It's a byproduct of being at UIC. Yeah. So the diamond comes by beating up. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I think food is one of the few things that stuck out to me the first semester. I went there, and you know, people say you gain the freshman 15. Unfortunately for me, I lost my freshman oh, 15 because I didn't eat much food, right? So I think people should definitely take that into consideration when you go to UIC. One full bag was only food for me. Uh, take a couple of weird courses. We have a course on wine tasting. Okay. As weird as it sounds, yeah. go ahead and take that. Sure. I've taken a course on bowling. So one full semester, somebody just teaches us how to bowl. And Fabulous! I mean that's just awesome. There's a take class on table tennis. Team making things like oh, that. So thank you so much for sharing that thank with you. us. I can see the amount of fun you had <laughs> on college, and uh, thanks for sharing that with our thank viewers. Yeah. Please click the subscribe button below. Like me at facebook.com/chatchat101. Follow my Twitter handle chatchat101 or at Instagram chatchat101. 
please leave your comments in the sections below and if you'd like me to feature any particular college please let me know thank you